one, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up booking types for the Guardian to select in the parent portal. To enable this, you can click on your service menu and under configuration, click on settings. You're then going to click on the parent portal tab and scroll down and click on parents can make bookings using booking types. So when this setting is enabled, it allows a guardian to select a, a specific booking type linked to the room that they are going to book their child into. They can also see what the booking type offers for that particular room. So before you allow your guardians to select booking types in the parent portal, you need to configure and set up which booking types will be visible on the parent portal. To do this, you can click on your service menu and under configuration, click on rooms and booking types. You're then going to click on link rooms booking types. You will now see a new column, parent portal enabled. To be, in order to enable the booking type for the parent portal, you will click on the booking type associated to the room and you can click either enable for casual bookings and enable for routine bookings or you may only want this booking type for casual bookings or you may only want it for routine bookings. If you do not have routine booking setting enabled, you will not see this option and vice versa. If you only have the routine bookings setting uh, enabled and not the casual bookings, you will not see the casual bookings selection either. You will then have a booking type description. So this allows you to override the default booking type description on the booking type. So if we just switch out of this and go into the booking types tab, and if I click on a booking type, you will see you have a booking type description. So this is the global booking type description, which then will display on the parent portal. So if you have this booking type linked to multiple rooms, um, all rooms are obviously going to have this same booking type description. However, if you do have it linked to multiple rooms, but different rooms offer something slightly different, you may want to customize this. And this is where you can do this on the link rooms and booking types. So I have set one up as an example on our pre-kindy. Um, we have got a override here and we've got a new booking description. So it will display the same booking type description on all other rooms except for pre-kindy, uh, which will highlight this different booking type description. Once you have this configuration set up, uh, the Guardian will now see those options in the parent portal. So switching over to the parent portal to show a quick example, when clicking on make a booking, I'm going to select a day. When the Guardian selects the room, they will now see these options. So you can see here that for that daily 10 for the pre-kindy, I override the description in the link rooms booking types configuration. And so that booking type is now different. So the Guardian can then select which one that they want to select and use for that room. If there is only one option, it will pre-select that option as there is no other alternative. However, they can see a description if they wish and they can see the fee. They can also see the session start time and end time highlighted on that booking type label. This is the same process also for recurring bookings. They will be able to select the booking type for their recurring bookings if enabled in the configuration. For any further information on how to set up booking types in the parent portal, please do not hesitate to reach out the, to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.